Grimsby Town 1, Forest Green Rovers 0. Hear that again. Grimsby Town 1, Forest Green Rovers 0. Uh, whew, that's a relief. Oh, what a relief. Um, I will just say this. That is probably the best team performance I've seen us put in uh, this season. In regards to, was it a good game? The honest truth is it was awful. It was bad. Um, but as for team, this is what I was talking about earlier in the season when I said grit. Um, we needed that win and we got it. We needed it and we got it. Um, have we played better? Yes. But it's not about how you play nowadays. It's not about how we play right now. It's about getting the points on the board. It looks like that meeting possibly that was had after Doncaster was, right, you tell me what you're best at and we'll play that. Because that wasn't a David Artell performance in my honest opinion. That was get the best out of what we've got. If that's what we've got in regards to to battling, um, everybody battled. Uh, Harvey Rogers got man of the match, and by the way, credit to Harvey because I've been very very critical of Harvey Rogers this season. Um, he was immense today. The army was immense. Danny Rose. We don't need to say more about Danny Rose apart from. Where the hell did we get him from? And how did we pull off that transfer? I've still no idea seven months in, really. Um, but what a finish by Harvey Rogers. Um, it came to him a bit awkwardly. And, and, and to be honest with you, he was falling backwards a bit when he connected with it. But it was just, um, it just arrowed right into the top corner. I could see it from the corner where I was. And it arrowed straight in the top corner. Beautiful goal by Harvey, and I'm so pleased for him. Um, but again, I, I'm going to give him a, a caution here. Um, you know, we've got that. I think we need another seven points to be assured of safety. So we're not done yet. Um, but overall, you can't really say much about the game because there wasn't really a lot in it. Uh, I heard someone say two poor sides. It was, really. It was two poor sides. We were slightly better than them uh, in general, but I think they were better on the ball than us. Um, but I think we showed more grit. I think we showed more fight. I think it was, and that's what it was, it was a dogged performance. Um, and uh, you have to give every single player from basically one through to 11, I thought Donovan Wilson had a decent game as well. Again, very hard for the forward guys when they didn't really have a lot to 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 go off, but it was good. It looked like it was a there comes a three five two. I think that suits us better. The the back three looked looked solid and assured. Uh, Doug Tam kept um, calling people and organising people where people were. The middle that is probably. Um, having the two central uh, midfield defensive players in there as we did, I thought that was that was actually a great tactical choice. Um, and I think that nobody put a foot wrong. Um, it was all. Uh, was literally all just a fantastic way of um, of playing in regards to not not style of football definitely not um, style of football it was like did we have to see that that um, you know I think to be fair I think uh, special mention has to go like I said to the two defensive midfielders because I think they they really did do a do a, a job they were in there they stayed in there they stayed sat there and it was kind of like that's what you want you know that is exactly what you want and 
with Curtis Thompson and Gav Hollihan. Why I forgot Tomo, uh, Tomo's name that, that escaped me, but I thought they did a fantastic job. Andrew's eh, a bit in and out, but again, he's a young lad as well. People have got to remember that. Um, and But credit to both Hollihan and Thompson. Uh, Rogers, probably his best game um, for the Mariners. Um, him, I think we've got to give him um, some credit as well. He um, he did some good stuff. Everyone did good in their own in their own way, and it was sort of like it was pleasing to see. Uh, and I said in my preview before the game that this was a big uh, week ahead for Grimsby Town. I still stick by that. Um, this win it is really what we needed. And if we have to play some of that at home um, for the next couple of games, then do it. We just need to get points on the board at the end of the day. I think, like I said, I think we need seven more points. I think if we reach 40 points, I think we'll have enough to, to stay up, I think. Uh, because Sutton only have 10 games left. Forest Green only have 11 games left. Whereas we've got 13 games left. Um, and if we get to 40, I can't see Forest Green or Sutton really um, getting past us for that. Um, but what, what do you guys think? I mean, I was... Uh, uh, apprehensive at the beginning of the game. Um, I was talking to uh, my friend Connor, who usually comes and sees me now and again. He was saying, he was saying, you know, we'll take a draw. I wouldn't have took a draw today because to me the gap would have been too, too, uh, too small, um, and uh, so it was important that we won today. No matter how we won, we won. Um, Obviously, they brought uh, you know the their main man, which is Christian Deutsch, who uh, rejoined them um, in January, I believe it was, uh, from Scotland, and uh, I I did I did see I did see their managers um, Steve Gottrell's, uh post match, and I don't know what he was looking at. He, he said they were the better team throughout. Yeah, of course they were. Um, no shots on target. No real threat towards our defence. Every time we did, we, we played with a low block. It was, you know, we were ready. We were winning a fight. And I will admit, today's the first time in general that you actually literally saw the fight for um, for the shirt and, and for the fans and, and credit to the lads for that, um, obviously. Kieran getting his uh, customary yellow card, which he uh, he normally does. But when Cottrell was saying that they were the better side by a country mile, um, no, they weren't. No, they absolutely weren't. They played better, I think, on the ball. I think they were better with the ball than we were. Um, and they did have us pinned back. But every time someone was getting the head on it, Tom was getting his head on it, Malarkey was getting the head on it, Rogers was getting his head on everything that was coming in to uh, to the box. They had a couple of decent chances in the in the uh, in the first half. Um, but to me it was kinda like uh, the kind of Grimsby performance we need right now. Not what we necessarily want, and I don't think it's what uh, Artel wants. Uh, you might you could tell that during uh, David's um, post match. He doesn't want to play this way, but I think after Doncaster, uh, you know, after Doncaster, I have a feeling that talk would have been right. Let's strip this back. What are you guys strongest at? You tell me, and we'll work a, a plan around that. And I think. Um, He's probably got the lads on side a bit. So this is what we can definitely deliver you. Um, 
And all I'd say to, to our town, I'm, uh, my opinion on our town doesn't change. But what I would say is just get us to safety, David, and then look into the summer where then you can start bringing your own players through to try and implement a new style. To me, that is what we were made of last year. Where we weren't always playing great, but we were grinding results out. And we need to do that for the remainder of the week. So guys, um, what do you guys think of that performance? Are you happy with that? Uh, clean sheet for Harvey Cartwright, which is great. Are you guys happy with that? Um, you know, we, we go into Wimbledon. Um, it's not about getting carried away because it's it's a 1-0 win at home to a, a fellow struggler. Um, but, you know, what what do you guys think? Can we go to Wimbledon and... Um, and try and get a try and get a result and uh, anything against Wimbledon will do after Wimbledon's win today um, you know they're still chasing the playoff place and they're still well in there so they're, they're playing for something uh, as are we so let me know your comments down below on what you thought of the game uh, I thought it was very wet considering I um, uh, the weather didn't seem to know what it was doing at BP uh, one minute it was uh, sunny, you wanted your sun cream. Sun cream. Uh, the next, you kind of wanted to just be um, covered up with um, your thermals on, that thing. So, um, but uh, yeah, let me know your opinions on the game. And uh, um, who's your man of the match? People have been asking this. Who's your man of the match? I've given it just to Rogers, but. A lot of people have said, Rose, let me know what your choice for Man of the Match was. And uh, I'll be back um, uh, on Monday, in fact. It'll be coming on Monday, uh, the preview for uh, the Wimbledon game. Like I say, it's a busy week for the Mariners this week. Um, so even though uh, we did get the victory to tonight, today, um, thoughts now go to Wimbledon on Tuesday night. Um when we head there so i'll have the preview for that coming up on monday so um keep um uh, keep your eyes peeled for that hit the like button hit the share button hit the uh hit all the buttons that you need to hit and uh, leave comments down below as well any questions you've got for me leading up to the running and uh, i'll be sure to answer them best way that i can i may even do an extra video on that as well for you but do hit the like button, share, and all that good stuff. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the Wimbledon preview uh, on Monday. So until then, guys, see you soon. Leave your comments down below and all that good stuff. And uh, a big win and a win that was needed. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.